wiped clean. They haven't won a football game since 2007, November. Meanwhile, back to receive this kick for the Huskies. It's Quinton Richardson, number 28 right there, and Jordan Pope, number 82. Huskies looking to put the demons of last year to bed permanently with a strong showing and we're underway. That's Polk and he's rocked right away right around on the option Polk gets the carry breaks a tackle. And close to the first down, out near the 25-yard line, Woods making Kirk Sarkeesian was there. Third and short coming up, and the Huskies look like they have their second first. Bogerson in the backfield on third down and long. 12 to go, a little heat off the corner. The pass complete, and another first down. Bogerson with room! How much he uses it tonight. Second down. Completes it. Touchdown. Johnson. Eddie better. That husky dog may have his bite back, Mark Jones. <laughs> and the extra point. That's a pretty composed sophomore quarterback who just turned 19. A first. First down and 10 from the 49. Charles Scott with a gaping hole gets to the edge. And Charles Scott with another Tiger first down down to the 31 yard line. To come out here to the Northwest. And they bought about 10,000 fans with them, too. On third and five, Jefferson. Complete for a first down. The poised sophomore drills one. Jefferson working out of the shotgun. Little option into the boundary. Tosses it to Williams. And Williams going to be stopped up short of the first down. And if there's a third and goal back at about the seven yard line. Jefferson working out of the shotgun. It's incomplete. And no flags on the play. He was working against Bond State. Allstate has contributed $1.8 million in scholarship monies, and that kick was money, all right, from 24 yards on that drive passing. Quick three-step drop, tipped up and picked off. And this could be trouble. Kapera, touchdown, Tigers. Game. Mark, that was a poor decision. Extra point good, and LSU in a blink. Bob Davey takes a three point lead on that interception, the second interception of his career. Get them on the road, I believe. Chris Polk in the backfield gets the call. Polk trying to bounce it outside, gets the edge. Chris Polk with one guy to beat, and the turbo didn't quite kick in all the way down, though, to the 23 yard line. If there's a crack in there, he will take off and run. They will not discourage him from that. Walker given time, completes it. Aguilar down to the 27 yard line, and that's a first down. A tough opponent. Excellent job of play calling to this point in the game, Mark. There's Walker. Wide open, but tackled immediately at the 17 yard line by Pattern down in 11. It's Polk. Good stay right arm. And close to a first down at about the seven yard. Polk again, but this time nowhere to go. And, and there might have been a fumble. LSU says there's a loose ball, and they've got it. Polk fumbled it, and the Tigers come up with the turnover on their own foot. The Huskies, here it is again. Yeah, on the exchange, the ball actually came out. It was loose. 
Let's take a look at this. Yeah, never had Arguably the best player defensively for the Huskies. Jefferson incomplete. And the Tigers will have to punt in the Fulgerson back to get this punt. Elton gets off. One that'll bounce, field it on the run. Fogerson with a nice return. Inside the 20. Let's go back to Reese Davis in this ball right yeah. there. That should have been pass interference on Chad Jones. Ferguson. Down to the 15 yard line. Make that Willie Griffin on the carry. A little bit inconsistent. I'm talking about Eric Folk, the field goal kicker here. This one from 34 yards out. There you go. He knocks it through to tie the game at 10 apiece. Just underway back this season. We'll see how this experiment works. Jefferson running the option with Holiday keeps it himself. I'm not. Charles Scott in the backfield beside Jefferson. Scott on the handoff met and broke a tackle. Diving forward across the 35. Well, Jefferson hands it off to Scott. Might have checked into that and Scott the football came out two yards. It's loose. Huskies say they have it. That's out. That looks like Washington's football mark. I think that football came out. ACC team's taking a hit right now. That pass complete to the true freshman James Johnson, six feet, 193 pounds. Had a great camp and really impressed the coaching staff. And close to that first down, looks like he may have gotten it. Great pass protection right now. Polk in the backfield on third and long, nine to go. Got to get to the 49 for a first down. Locker. Pulls the trigger complete. And a first down at the 46 yard line to Cavario Middleton is a nine. Complete, but short of the first down at the 41 yard line. Yeah. LSU needs to go ahead and throw that football down the field a little bit and challenge these DBs. Jefferson, meanwhile, one of five passing, going to take off this time. Didn't take a big hit like he did. Things can happen out here. Jefferson hands it off. And that's going to be more than enough for the first down. Charles Scott. Jefferson hands it off to Keelan Williams. And Williams is out near another. Second and one. Jefferson completes his second pass of the night. Across the 45 yard line to Keelan Williams. This open Mark and Lewis still here. We'll see you in a bit. And a surprise here. Touchdown, Tolliver Reese. Terrence Tolliver goes 45 yards on the missed tackle by Greg Walker. Hempstead, Texas. Right down the road from Texas AM. The extra point good. Locker out of the shotgun. Going up top on this one, and the catch made. Aguilar down to the 21 yard line. Got in behind Jai Eugene. And the feel good vibe continues here at Husky Stadium in Steve Sarkeesian's opening game of a new era. Here, Mark. On third down and long, Locker with a quick drop. Delivers a strike complete. And that's going to be a first down out of the 49 yard line. Little jailbreak screen complete. Across midfield to the 48 is Ag broken out here. Get myself an XL. Third down coming up. And Locker fires incomplete. 
fourth down as a result. DeAndre. You don't have to learn the hard way. Learn from the example of LeGarrette Blunt. Second and seven. Jefferson completes the pass. And there's Brandon LaFell. He's been replacing players around the country saw what can happen here Scott wide open yawning hole for the first down out beyond the 45 the 46 Jefferson keeps it himself and a slick bit of ball handling Keelan Williams is the deep back in the eye and they option into the boundary Jefferson lunging I'm not sure that he got the first down he got a very fortuitous spot high school was the measurement and uh, LSU got the first down on that last minute lunge by Trendon Holiday in the backfield beside Jefferson. Complete and a great move by Tolliver. Tolliver touchdown. He juked Greg Walker. And 39 yards later, the Tigers now with it. Under six minutes to go now in the third quarter. The Tigers leading 24 to 13. And for tough. Nate Williams a little shaken up too on the other side. Here's Locker. And the pass is going to be ruled complete. Former offensive coordinator at USC on the carry. That's Chris Polk. And he looks like he got enough for the first down. Falling. Locker got the first down and stepped out of bounds wisely. Swa, who was a draft pick of the San Francisco 49ers. Locker going to pass. Has a man in the end zone. Incomplete, but a flag thrown on the play. Jordan Polk got in behind the defense. This one complete. Boy, they hit you. On defense, don't the Tigers Aguilar tonight? Washington is 10 of 14 on third down conversions. Let's see what they do here. Locker fires high and incomplete at the 22 yard line. One coming from about 42 yards out. Well, he shanked it off to the left. Third and seven. Jefferson unloads it out of bounds. LSU looks a little. Of course, different schools have different starting times for class. There's Polk on the toss sweep, and he's run down and stopped at the 42 yard line. Third down and 11. Pass is complete at midfield, but short of the first down. Down here on fourth down and two. Locker rolls out, going to try and turn on the Jets. He'll have the first down. Jake Locker with that. It's 12:32 in Baton Rouge, and Locker keeps it himself. Why not? Good decision. First down, Huskies. LSU defenders. Second and eight. Little out and up pattern into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for folk. Looking for a good vibe right here. Locker. Incomplete. Intended for Goodwin. From last year. Folk now in to attempt this field goal. And after missing the last one, he makes this one from 32 yards out. And they are to it. Jefferson on the option, the toss. Helen Williams with a nice run, gaining it. On the bubble screen, complete to LaFell. LaFell's been a little concerned. 19 year old sophomore with the lead right now. See if he can close the deal on the pitch. 
Williams again. Down to the 47 yard line. You know, quarterback Jordan. Seeing a lot of Keelan Williams, Bob, in the backfield as opposed to Charles Scott. Here's Jefferson back to pass. And fires a dart. Who else? Tolliver again. That's been his money guy today. Williams on the carry has a gaping hole. Keelan Williams still on his feet. Down to the five yard line, first and goal, LSU. Got a nice block up front. On the bootleg action, Jefferson. Touchdown, Tigers! LaFell with a catch. Going down low to make the grab. Youngest quarterback in the Southeastern Conference to throw the football late in the game shows you what they think. Got to give it back. Huh? That's not a mask, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Third and 11. <laughs> Pass complete to Middleton. That he met his wife in the parking lot when she was an assistant coach at Michigan. That's that's love and sports all mixed into one. Pass down to the 25-yard line. Chris Polk struggled tonight. Particularly against the pass. Blocker completes it. And Polk took a hit. Makes it down to the nine yard. A little sound of appreciation perhaps for the Huskies. And a touchdown as a reward. Middleton. Now the question is do you go for two? <laughs> He's going to go ahead and kick the extra point. Extra point good. This one is cooked, glazed, and sliced. The final verdict 31 to 23. Jordan Jefferson, the precocious sophomore, leading his team to victory in a very tough, tough environment.